Take the given numbers in group of tens with the help of borrowing. Friends, today in this video, we will learn subtraction by borrowing using groups of tens with the help of conversation between Chi Chi and Chu Chu. Oh, Chu Chu, when are you coming? Yeah, I have come. Oh, your house is very beautiful. Thank you, Chu Chu. Would you like to eat chocolate? Um, um, yummy. We ate eighteen chocolates out of fifty-two. So now, how many chocolates are left? I don't know. Chi Chi, let's do subtraction after writing fifty-two and eighteen in the box of ones and tens. Yes, let's do it. You had fifty-two chocolates, which means five tens and two ones chocolates. We ate eighteen, means one ten and eight ones chocolates of them. So here we have to perform fifty-two minus eighteen. So first of all. We will perform subtraction of the numbers in the box of ones. But here two is smaller number compared to eight. So how can we subtract big number from a small number? We can not subtract a big number from a smaller number. So here we will borrow one tens from the number five of the box of tens. It means the number in the place of ones can borrow from its neighbor number in the box of tens, right? Yes. So you are borrowing one ten from the five tens in the place of tens means subtracting one ten from five tens, which makes it four tens. Oh, so here one ten will be less in the place of tens. Absolutely right. Now in the box of ones, it will be one borrowed tens equal to ten ones. Now it will be two ones plus ten ones, meaning twelve ones in the box of ones. Now if we subtract eight ones from twelve ones, we will have one, two, three, and four left. Yes, so we will write four in the place of ones. Now. We have to subtract the numbers of the tens place. If we subtract one ten from four tens, we will get three tens. So, we will write three in the place of tens. So this way, after eating eighteen chocolates from fifty-two chocolates, we would have thirty-four chocolates left. Now, if we will eat fifteen more chocolates out of the thirty-four chocolates. Then how many chocolates would we have left with? How many would be left if we will subtract fifteen from thirty-four? Let's count it. Thirty-four means three ten and four ones. Fifteen means one tens and five ones. We cannot subtract five from four in the box of ones. So we will borrow one tens from three tens from the box of tens. So if we subtract one ten from three tens of box of tens, then we would have two tens. We will write two at the top of the box of tens. Now we will have one borrowed ten means ten ones plus four ones equal to fourteen ones in the box of ones. Now if we subtract five ones from fourteen ones, we would have nine ones left. So we will write nine in the place of ones. Now, if we subtract one ten from two tens in the place of tens, then we will have one ten left. So we will write one in the box of tens. So this way, if we eat fifteen chocolates from thirty-four chocolate, then we would have nineteen chocolates left. Chuchu, would you eat more chocolates? Oh. 
Oh no! Now if I will eat more chocolates, then my teeth will get cavities. Yes, you are right. Chichi, let us make a bouquet with these roses. Yes, let's do it. Children, in this video, you have learned subtracting the given numbers in groups of tens with the help of borrowing. In the next video, we will see how Chichi and Choo Choo use borrowing for subtractions while making a bouquet of flowers. Children, you have learned how to subtract two-digit numbers with borrowing in the previous video. In this video, we will see some examples to perform subtraction with borrowing listening to the conversation between Chichi and Choo Choo. Chichi, let's decorate the house by making a bouquet of this 34 roses. Yes, let's make it. I will make a bouquet of 17 flowers and you make a bouquet with the remaining flowers. Hmm, if you will make a bouquet with 17 flowers of the 34 flowers, then how many flowers would be left for me to make a bouquet? Let's subtract 17 from 34. Yes, first of all, we will write these numbers in the box of ones tens and then perform the subtraction. Hmm, but here we cannot subtract 7 from 4 in the box of ones. So, we will borrow 110 from 3 tens in the box of tens. Yes, so now we will write 14 ones instead of 4 in the box of ones and two tens instead of three tens in the box of tens. Now, first of all, if we will subtract one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven from fourteen in the place of ones, then we will have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven left in the place of ones. Now look here. If we subtract 110 from 2 tens, then we will have 110 in the box of tens. Yes, so this way, if I make a bouquet with 17 flowers from 34 flowers, then you too will have 17 flowers left to make a bouquet. Oh wow! We would have the same number of flowers. Now let's both make a bouquet like this by taking all our flowers together. Oh, look, these beautiful bouquets are ready. Let's put these in that flower vase. Wow, it looks beautiful. Okay, Chichi, now I have to go. Yes, see you. Children, I hope you have learned how to subtract two-digit numbers with borrowing a little better with the help of this video. In the next video, we will understand what mistake does Chi Chi make while performing subtraction with borrowing. Children, you have learned how to subtract two-digit numbers with borrowing in the previous video. In this video, we will learn some interesting facts related to subtraction using borrowing with the help of the conversation between Chi Chi and Choo Choo. Oh, what is this? Chi Chi is counting her jellies Again and again, I think she is having some difficulty in counting the jellies. Look, 
चू चू हैज कम ही विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प चीची लेट्स सी हेलो चीची ओ वॉट हैपन्ड वाई आर यू सो अपसेट ओ चू चू I had fifty jellies with me, and from those, I gave twenty-three jellies to my friend Meeti. So I should have thirty-seven jellies left with me, but there are only twenty-seven jellies here. Gigi, you gave twenty-three jellies from your fifty jellies, right? Yes. So now tell me. How did you know that fifty minus twenty-three is equal to thirty-seven? Look here, I did fifty minus twenty-three with the help of the table of ones, tens, and I got thirty-seven as the answer. Oh, Chichi, look here carefully. You borrowed one from five tens of the box of tens. And wrote ten ones in the place of ones, but you forgot to subtract one ten from five tens in the box of tens. Oh yes, you are right, Chu Chu. So here, if we will subtract one ten from five tens in the box of tens, then it will be four tens. If we will subtract two tens from four tens. Then we will be left with two tens. Yes. So this way, if we will subtract twenty-three jellies from fifty jellies, then you will be left with only twenty-seven jellies. Yes. Now I have understood it well. Thank you so much, Chu Chu. Look, Chichi. In subtraction, whenever we borrow ten from a digit, we have to reduce that digit by a ten. Yes, Chu Chu. From now on, I will remember that. Did you see how easily Chu Chu solved Chi Chi's difficulty? So today we have learned some interesting facts related to subtraction of two-digit numbers with borrowing. In the next video, we will understand how both subtraction and addition are useful.